Hello, I'm Scott, and welcome to Green Room Music. Today I'd like to talk to you about a mystic and often misunderstood instrument, the logger phone. Now the logger phone is a percussion instrument that's played by shaking it, bouncing it off the floor, or striking it with a beater. Here is my logger phone. It's quite a beast. There's no way I can fit this thing in picture right here, but I'd like to invite you out to the shop. We'll give you a closer look and show you how to make one for yourself. Here we are in the workshop. Come on over to the bench and I'll show you all the materials you'll need for the build. Now the first thing you'll need is some kind of a pole for the body of the instrument. When I make my logger phones, I like to use a large branch or a small tree, preferably harvested from an ancestral hallowed woodland. The next thing you'll need is a nail, a large nail that you can use to put holes in bottle caps. Of course, then the next thing you'll need is a large amount of bottle caps. Next, you'll need some nails to affix the bottle caps to the pole. Next up is something to be used as a beater. This is an old curtain rod, works just fine. And then finally, an old shoe. We'll get to that in a moment. Remember that old shoe I mentioned? We're going to tear the sole out of this shoe to create a bumper for the bottom of the instrument. Remember, you want a logger phone to bounce when you play it. And now that we've seen all the materials that you'll need for the build, there's only one thing left to do. Let's build a logger phone. This step is really monotonous. I'm going to spare you all the hammering and we'll just show you the finished product when I'm done. Catch you in a few. And here's the final product. In building this particular logger phone, I used 95 nails, three bottle caps per nail, for a sum total of 285 bottle caps. Now you notice on the end, this is the piece of the shoe sole that's used to provide some bounce when you bang it off the floor. It's important to remember when building a logger phone to leave a place on the branch blank, no bottle caps. This is where you're going to use your beater to strike the instrument to play it. And you also need to leave another area blank for a handle. This is where I hold on to the instrument while playing it. Okay, let's try it out. As I mentioned before, there are three main ways to play a logger phone. The first is by shaking. The next is bouncing on the floor. And finally, using a stick as a beater. Let's put a beat together. That's all there is to it. So in summary, if you're looking for that special something to spice up your next recording session, or even your next campfire jam, Maybe the logger phone is for you. I think it's a cool instrument, certainly worth the try. Have fun out there. Thanks for watching.